What's up, guys? Hey, Matt, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Let's start with the second, second scrimmage, a big scrimmage. So, how did it go out there? Did the offense or defense have the advantage? I think the offense is good. I mean, it was a good battle back and forth like it is, you know, every time we go out there. But I think out there, you know, we put together some good drives. And uh, I think the offense took the day. Second spring and the staff, how is it working with her hand this spring? Great. I think going from year one to year two, not only, you know, the relationship growing in the room and across the coaching staff to the players, but a lot more understanding of the offense and being able to get into more complex uh, football IQ and whatnot, which has helped me learn a lot more to the mental level that I want to get to. I know the first scrimmage, I think you guys ran it like 70% of the time today. We were told you guys passed it a lot more. So what kind of stood out? Are there some individual plays that come to mind? Or I think if there's one play that stood out, I think uh, it was the first drive. It was like the third play of the drive. Uh, John Rice Plumley pulled the ball, broke like two tackles in the backfield, and busted for like an 80-yard touchdown. Run. So that was super cool to see. What are some things that you most want to improve on in your game? Um, I think everything. Like, I just go get on everything. Uh, I don't really focus on the specific stuff, but uh, I do focus on specific, specific stuff. But everything, and generally I want to up my IQ more, because I understand the game, but I want to understand it to a level where I understand everything that's going on in the field, not only the offensive line part. Yeah, about that, that touchdown from, from John Rice, I mean, we saw what he did, you know, back at Ole Miss, but, you know, the quarterbacks aren't typically live, so is that something he hadn't really been able to show until today when the quarterbacks were live? Or? No, I mean, he hasn't. There was a lot of times where we'd be in the scrimmage during practice and they'd blow it dead because, you know, it's fake tempo, whatever, because the QBs aren't live. But I was excited to, for him to get out there and be live because he gets to showcase stuff like that. We spoke with Chip on Tuesday and today. He's kind of mentioned finding the right combination of the offensive line. How do you feel like that chemistry is coming together and putting the pieces of the puzzle together on the offensive line? I think it's, it's coming together good. And the great part is we have three guys that – me, Kahi, and uh, Sam that have a lot of experience and our veterans. Um, and we got a, multiple other guys that can't come in there, but it's been good this whole spring, mixing and matching. Coach Han's been able to move guys around uh, from guard to tackle and see what fits best. Have you been tutoring Sam a little bit? I guess he's gonna be maybe backup emergency center, uh, but how's that been going with him? Sam and Kahi, yeah, I guess they are. And it's been good because, you know, they don't, center's kind of different than, you know, being in guard and tackle, it's a little bit different with the ball in your hand and, how your feet are set and whatnot on your techniques. Uh, but it's been fun out there being able to give them tips and coaching them on what they ask, because uh, you don't get to do that too often with the centers. What's your biggest surprise so far this spring, whether a player or a situation, whatever you want? Biggest surprise? I don't know. I don't know if I'm surprised by anything. I've been happy with how everything's been going. Like, I think the offense has been rolling, but the defense has also been rolling. Like, it's been a good spring. Uh, the team's been coming together, like the relationships on the team and kind of the team building in general has been great. Uh, but I don't know, that's an interesting one. Is, is it like, on that note, is, is there like a player that maybe has had a really good spring, maybe a young guy or a newcomer, no one really knew who he was, and making some plays out there, competing? I can't like speak for every position just because, you know, I don't, I try to focus on my guys, but I think all spring, Adrian Medley, Medball has been stepping up and really becoming like, that starter kind of guy where you can rely on him to be consistent every single play, day to day. Uh, so for me, I've been really proud and happy with how Medley's been playing. Medball, that's, that's a nickname you all gave him? Medball, yeah. Do they come from medicine ball or? Just Medball, med he's just Medball. He plays ball, okay. Yeah, he's just Medball. <laughs> uh, just how, just tell us about Mikey. Yeah, you know, we started last year, you know, coming in, more experience. Uh, what have you seen from him? And does he kind of feel like, a, like more of a leader out there? 100%. Uh, not that he wasn't last year, but he's that much more confident this year with the experience of being around the guys for a year that now it's like he's a natural leader. He comes out there, he knows how to, you know, lead the team, get us going no matter what, which is great for me because I feel like I got to be the leader of the offensive line, but then you got a guy like Mikey also that I can rely on no matter what, you know, he's got his stuff right. With the talent that's coming back, how good could these running backs be this season? I think it'd be really good uh, from top to bottom. I think we have a great group of backs that, that I love having those guys in the backfield. Not, you know, Bowser, Mark, Johnny, um, Jordan, I'm definitely forgetting names, but all of them from top to bottom have been great to play with. On that note, just looking at the offense in general, you know, you guys bring up more experience quarterback, wide receiver, running. I mean, how good do you think this offense can be maybe in comparison to last year? How much better are you guys going to be? I think we could be really good, especially 
going into year two under Coach Malzahn's system, uh, just the understanding and kind of the mentality behind how we were uh, run plays and run the football um, and run the offense, I think we can be really good. How's a guy like Ryan Svoboda been in the mix here with the offensive line? He's been good. Um, still learning kind of the system, which makes sense everyone does when they first come in, uh, you know, because we've been here for a year under this offense, but he just got here. And, but Ryan's been great, huge guy. He's like six foot 10, 325 pounds or whatever. Knows how to lock in his core. And he's that big, but he doesn't move like he's that big. He can move like a smaller guy, which I love to see. You see the offense maybe kind of be evolving a little bit. Just, you know, you kind of talk about year two under Gus, so you kind of run into some stuff you didn't do last year. Did you kind of see that happen? I think so, yeah. Uh, here and there, I mean, we still stay with our, you know, what we focus on, but we're able to, just because it is year two, we're able to branch out a lot more and put new stuff in, new wrinkles that do work, uh, but it's definitely evolving. Good. Okay, uh, so what about team goals? I mean, I know we've got a long time before we get to the season, but I know you said get on the offense. I mean, this team was when the conference championships a few years ago kind of got off that track. I mean, that's something you guys talk about at this point, uh, getting back to that point. Yeah, and I think we can. I think, you know, it's hard. It's hard to win a championship, but I think we got the guys. And if we continue to develop and go on hard like we are, I think we absolutely can win a conference championship. We win. All right, appreciate it. All right, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks.